numbers tonight paint the picture of food insecurity in our county. According to the San Diego Hunger Coalition, 832,000 people struggle with access to nutritional food options. My co-anchor Wally Aliu takes us to a farm in Bonsall that's fighting food insecurity by growing food and teaching families how to do the same. We're very passionate about ecological restoration and really collaborating with the community to grow food and to nourish the community and to really love our community. What does one tree do? So it, it ranges, but one tree estimated can produce upwards of a thousand pounds a year at maturity and they can produce for over 20 to 30 years, even sometimes longer than that. So hundreds of thousands of pounds of food will be provided for families in need in the coming years to come, decades to come. And how does that translate? How does that tree planted here on your institute translate to feeding the families in our community? So our, our big partner in Oceanside is Operation Hope. They're a homeless shelter and a community food pantry. So the food that we grow, we do what we do best by growing the food and we donate it to them and they are able to distribute it directly to the people that need it the most in their shelter and also open to the community uh, at their food pantry. So families in Oceanside can come and grab food from their Hope Pantry and that provides food for thousands of families a year. What kind of impact have you seen personally? There's roughly estimated 175,000 families in San Diego that are facing food insecurity. Over 190,000 of them are children. So we're in our partnerships, we're seeing families that need food, that are getting access to food in a dignified way, and that's super important to us. And there's a huge community outside of us that are also fighting food insecurity, community uh, roots farm in Encinitas and um, coastal root or community roots in Oceanside, coastal roots in Encinitas. A lot of farms in this community are helping to fight and food insecurity. Why do you do what you do? Because we've been called to do it. We've been called um, because of our faith in, in Christ. That's a big part of our of our push is because we've been blessed with this land and we feel that we need to bless others with the opportunity that we've been given to farm. And so we're really lucky to be able to bless our community.